how to use the formula F equals MA, force equals mass times acceleration. I can use this formula to find force if I'm given the mass and acceleration, or to find the mass, or to find the acceleration. We're going to look at each of those three examples. The way that I do this is I use what I call the guess method, which is given unknown equation substitution and solution. So let's try working through one of these problems. If we're given this block over here uh, and we want to know how much force is pushing on it, you'll see that there's 20 kilograms. It is extremely important that we memorize that kilograms is mass and the box is accelerating 5 meters per second squared. That meters per second squared is acceleration. I think this is one of the most important steps, and it's one that, that we often overlook. Okay, so in our given, we're going to write down what we know. All right, we know that the mass is 20 kilograms, and the acceleration is 5 meters per second squared. Let's clear that out. It is crucial that you write down this M and the A. A lot of students want to skip that step and just write down the numbers. It's going to make it very difficult if you skip that step. Unknown, we're being asked to calculate the force. So the force is our unknown. In this case, we know the formula is F equals MA. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this information and I'm going to, where it asks for M, I'm going to put that number in. Where it asks for A, I'm going to put that number in. Okay, so force is equal to the mass is 20 kilograms. And the acceleration is 5 meters per second squared. I like to put everything inside parentheses. I think of parentheses like Ziploc bags for, for math. kind of keeps everything organized. Now, right, I would pull out a calculator. Right, and This one's kind of an easy one to do. So if I pull out a calculator real quick, I could say 20 times 5, and I'm going to get 100. Now, you may be able to do 20 times 5 in your head, but there are so many times on a test where I personally have said 20 times 5 is 25, because in, in, in a rush, I added them. You have a calculator, it never hurts to, to check. No one's going to look and see what you're doing. They better not be anyway. So it's 100, and the unit for force is newtons. Now what if instead of asking you to find force, they ask you to find mass. See, in this case, they gave you the number of newtons. They gave you the acceleration, but they're asking you to find how much mass it takes. It's the exact same steps um, in the guess method, although it'll be a little bit different when we do the calculations. You'll need to use a tiny bit of what you've learned in math. So given what things have we been given, in this case, we've been given that the force is 75 newtons. So make sure that you write F equals. I said this is so important because it helps us in that substitution step. And the acceleration in this case is 25 meters per second squared. I'm being asked to find, I don't know, the mass. So mass is my unknown. Same formula. F equals MA. Now the great thing about using the guess method um, is you can get partial credit. A teacher will see, oh, you understood what you did. If you had made a math mistake in the last little bit, it'll be okay. So if we're going to substitute in here, we can't just say um, that I'm going to put multiply everything because that's not where they go. All right? So the force is going to go on this side, and the acceleration is going to go on this side. So I'm going to end up with 75 newtons equals, I don't know what mass is, so I just keep the letter, times 25 meters per second squared. This is where what we've learned in math is going to have to come over to, to help us out here. So if I need to solve for M, 
How do I get it by itself? Well, it's the same thing if I had 6 equals 3x. How would I solve for x? I would divide both sides by 3, and I would find out that x equals 2. All right, so if I can do that there, all right, I can do the same thing right here. So if I have m times 25, I'm just going to divide this side by 25 meters per second squared. And if I do it to that side, I have to do it to this side. Okay, so I'm going to grab that calculator again, all right, clear it from last time, and now I'm going to take 75 divided by 25, 75 divided by 25, and my answer is going to be 3. Now over here on this side, since I have 25 on the top and on the bottom, they get crossed out. So I'm left with m equals 3, and we again have to remember that the unit for mass here is kilograms. All right, one final example. What if they asked us to calculate the acceleration? Right here, they gave us the newtons. They gave us, again, we have to remember that that's mass, that kilograms is mass. And they're asking us to find out how much is the box accelerating. Okay, so let's take a look here. Our givens, I still want to write down F equals, so important. I think the most important step here, 44 newtons, and the mass equals 2 kilograms. Unknown is that acceleration. I don't know that. Now, you may be looking at this and thinking, I can, I can do this in my head. The answer is going to be 22. And that is true. That is what the answer is going to come out to be. But if you were to teach somebody a really complicated skill like uh, gymnastics, you wouldn't give them the most complicated uh, trick to do at first. You would teach them some simple techniques that would build up to the big ones. What's really great about what we're learning here is this is how all of math and physics works. So if you can understand these problems here, when we get up into more complicated stuff in high school, you'll already have a good foundation. But if you just do it in your head now, things are going to be more complicated later on. My equation is F equals MA. Right? When I showed my wife this method, my wife works for NASA, this is exactly how they do things there. This is how every scientist um, does problems. Substitution. Okay, so I know this is going to be the force. This is going to be the mass. And I don't know the acceleration. So 44 newtons. Notice how I always write the units with it. That's a really good habit to get into. Times 2 kilograms for the mass and the acceleration. So to, how do I get A by itself? I divide it by... 2 kilograms, 2 kilograms, all right, so pull up my calculator, 44 divided by 2 equals 22, and I'm trying to find, the side over here they cross out, I'm trying to find the acceleration, so the acceleration equals 22, and the unit for acceleration is meters per second squared. Now we could go into a whole video about how these units work and why it comes out to be meters per second squared, but for right now um, I'm just going to have you memorize that acceleration is meters per second squared, that mass is in kilogram, and that force is in newtons.